Hello, this is Bonsai, or known as XL, and I'm going to be talking about the Camus. And this shows the goddamn freaking sniper rifle on this. Basically, it goes right through it. It goes right through every single mobile suit that you were trying to get really close in close range. And this mobile suit is not meant for close range. It's meant for kind of like in long range engagements but majority of the time you would lose in these long game range engagements when you're trying to fight supports and in every single angle that I'm trying to shoot this goddamn sniper rifle as you can see the barrel is right through the mole suit and you know in reality it should be like a whole big solid object it should have a barrier that would be able to push the mobile suit but you know the the goddamn freaking <laughs> sniper rifle just it's kind of a pain and it's very painful to use the sniper rifle it takes a really steady a really um, mental state type of mind to keep your your mind in a right way to use the sniper rifle because it's a very effective thing in long range but when you're trying to get like close to the opponent like two feet away from this mobile suit you're going to have a very hard time like I literally have the muzzle on the this mobile suits ass and the muzzle literally it still doesn't do anything as you can see it went through the mobile suit so I have to go to a specific range to use this sniper rifle the sniper rifle is perfect perfect for the Zuda F's or the Zudas the Zudas are meant for the sniper rifle for the camouf not really the camouf is just I don't know it's it's not meant for it it doesn't have the speed for it it doesn't have you know the capabilities that the Zuda has and you know it's very hard to to master the sniper rifle but when you literally land the sniper rifle you literally give them down onto a very heavy stagger where they do like kind of like a superman pose and yeah it's pretty effective and as you can see you know the the diameter of the bullet is so small it's not thick or big or anything it just goes right through specific areas you can even go right through the arms you go right through the legs and you you barely can even touch a mobile suit so be very rare wary when you're using the like the sniper rifle on ground and space as you can see you know the skills what the hell am I supposed to do with these goddamn skills there's nothing like beneficial when I'm looking at those goddamn skills so these are some specific matches I basically did a lot of these matches with a different type of varieties of weapons as the machine gun the bazooka and the sniper rifle and I felt like out of the whole three, out of the whole bunch, I felt the bazooka was like at the very top. And you know, when you're using this mobile suit, I feel like the bazooka is pretty damn nice. Now, problems with this mobile suit. Oh man, oh man. How can I explain the problems of this mobile suit? Uh. I don't know. It's it's got a lot of problems. I I'm gonna explain the majority of the problems. Problem number one. You know this this GM Camus has a little bit of HP, and you have to make do with that HP. And if you get you know attacked with melee, you're going to have a very very hard hard time and when I mean a really hard time you're gonna literally have um, specific moments when you won't be able to do do majority type of things or you know it's 
it's very hard and you don't have enough speed it kind of feels slow and it feels kind of lackluster it's kind of missing a lot of things another you know thing I feel like it's missing is a dodge roll it's missing a dodge roll it's missing a uh, maneuver armor and it's missing like a uh, <laughs> double you know double attack or something like that and I swear to god the the melee priority feels like I, I don't feel the melee priority when I'm using this mobile suit and it's a general like come on like it's so painful to use it's so it's so awkward you know but you know the benefit about this mobile suit I feel like the only goddamn benefit to this majestic looking mobile suit is it's got this fake beacon so you can literally be in a group of enemies I don't know why you want to be in a group of enemies or you want to be behind enemy lines and you can do some ca manhandle some scandal but you know it's pretty damn hard and it's a pretty good benefit um, another thing is that it looks so goddamn awesome you know the camo when the the lower tier days when I was using this thing I loved it you know I was able to get like uh, some good places in this I was able to get like second place but it was a long time ago but you know it was just luck you know, it was just pure luck to get like something like that it's really rare um, another another thing about this mobile suit is it's shield it's shield is what saves this mobile suit so if you can literally you know weld your your shield into the right direction you can save your yourself really good and yeah th those are some I guess benefits from this mobile suit and I swear to god this this bad boy is just I don't know it doesn't feel like it packs a lot of you know power that much it it lacks and the other matches I'm going to explain a lot of things that it lacks in now you know when you're when you're using a lot of other mobile suits you basically use like the let's just see GM Knights um, Night Seeker or like a, a Zaku S and those those guys have you know dodge roll and they have a you know a really nice they got nice melee but in this mobile suit it just doesn't have nice melee in that specific moment I got artied because I couldn't move out of the way because of how slow this mobile suit is and that's where it struggles you know when when the enemy artillery's you yeah it's kind of hard to get out of it because of, you know it's kind of lackluster potential and you know I know that it's basically a GM and it's basically run down with like the whole Xeon, Xeon type of story right there and right here I was able to slip a you know a Panzerfaust onto that enemy right there which was pretty damn decent and I enjoyed it now right over here you know when you're using this machine gun yeah it's, I don't know I don't think I recommend this machine gun the machine gun just doesn't feel strong enough it doesn't feel like it has enough power and the legs since you have like 8,000 or 9,000 or 10,000 HP depends on what sort of level your leg HP can get busted real quick stupid quick and you know you can get your legs busted with literally two shots and you can't do a single thing about it and you know it, it's it's that that's how bad it really is you know it's very very you know difficult to master 
you are capable of fighting back. That's the good thing about this mobile suit. You're capable of fighting back. You're capable of doing mediocre type of things. And you have to plan your your movements because you don't have a a dodge roll, you know, to get out of a really bad situation. Now right here I got staggered right there and there is an enemy artillery that landed right there. I was able to save myself but I was only able to save myself because of my team members who were there at that specific moment. I was able to grab a guy right there with that kill but you know I was kind of like a, a heavy duty sitting duck that yeah the very hard. You know, I could have used a GM too. I could have used a GM command. I could have used a lot of good, um, goddamn generals. But this general just has problems. But it's not the worst general in the game. It's not. I already know what is the worst general in the game. And that is for another video and another time. And the worst general, I'm not going to even mention what it is. But, you know, a lot of people know, I'm not sure if a lot of people know what it, what it is, but they will understand. Now, this mobile suit is really good. It's good, it's good, but it's missing a lot of things. If it had a little bit of extra, I would have bumped up the, the score of how good this mobile suit is. Now, what doesn't make any sense of this mobile suit is that you can see that it has a a beam saber on its, you know, on its jetpack. And what is very painful about it is that I really wish I can use the beam saber on this thing. It wouldn't have been awesome if I would have been able to use the beam saber and axe. It would have been a really good combo machine, but you know, yeah. When you literally have the axe, it doesn't literally give you, you know, benefits whatsoever. The axe kind of gives you very, very hard um, potential. It's very hard to get in close range with this. And in this match, I'm basically using the bazooka. And the bazooka is the best choice out of the whole bunch. With the bazooka, it literally gives this mobile suit a a 6 out of 10. You know, I give it like a 6 out of 10 with the bazooka. But if you're using all the other type of weapons, I'd give this mobile suit like a 5 out of 10. The reason being is because it just lacks a lot of things. There's this um, GM trainer who was literally on top of that, you know. I couldn't do a single thing and my legs were busted I didn't even know like I'm just so used to using a lot of my bulk suits that have good legs and my legs just got you know, smashed into smithereens and that man was able to finish me off and that's that's the problem with this mobile suit your legs get busted and if I would have used a lot of these mobile suits in these matches they wouldn't have their legs busted as much as this GM camouf would be now you know if you're you're a dude who's saying oh this is a perfect mobile suit to practice on no this is not the perfect mobile suit to pass and practice on it doesn't have the basic it's gonna make you kind of stuck in a you know in a futile battle of trying to prove something that can't be proven now um God damn, you know, I, I kind of feel like I'm getting, you know, slapped in the face with this mobile suit. And what this mobile suit has is it's got a lot of good stagger options. You know, it has a bazooka and it has a Panzerfaust. Or you can literally go for a sniper and a Panzerfaust. But, you know. To, to stagger in that specific moment it kind of feels like forever and what I mean forever it feels forever when I'm trying to land my goddamn axe attack 
like my axe is just the one single attack. Right there I couldn't see nothing because there was so much smoke going on, I didn't know what the heck was going on. And it was just it was just a cluster like it was a cluster flat. And I was like, yo, <laughs> what is going on in here? You know, that guy, that genome trainer was able to save himself because he had, you know, he had the boost and he's able to boost out of that that confrontation the dodge rolls and the maneuver armor are very very important in this game if you don't have any of those two um you're gonna struggle like a support and it's very difficult when you're you're trying to get out of a situation where you're trying to work with what you have but at specific moments you can't work with what you have because people can infinity stagger you because you don't have you know, uh, a way to get out of it. Right there I was able to get this map with a nice juicy pads of fouls and I was I boost but look at look at how awkward it is. I hit this map like I hit this map first and it's it's weird I don't know if this had a beam saber I might have got him first I don't know but let's just say if this mobile suit had you know maneuver armor or dodge roll. if it had maneuver armor and a dodge roll then I would understand its whole HP and if it had you know the beam saber on its jetpack it would make sense like imagine a beam saber and axe yo that would be a really wild mobile suit and another you know I feel like it has benefits the legs are pretty slim so you know shots can really go right through the legs and it's really nice um the movement it feels kind of um I don't know how to explain it. It feels pretty pretty slow. But you know, not extremely slow. It's alright. You know, I was able to slip a shot, get this eye guy, and you know if I had a choice between this mozu and the eye guy, I'd choose the eye guy. Now this this guy right here, this this camo it's um, it's kind of a pain to use. I kind of gave it this uh, army type of color to to blend in in my landscapes, but you know, majority of the time it just doesn't feel like it's working. And the cool thing about this is that with the the beacon, I'm able to get behind the enemy. And when I'm able to get behind the enemies, it takes them by surprise. But once they spot you, once they spot you, <laughs> all hell is going to break loose. Meaning that they're going to slam all the melee and their whole team at you. And you can't do a single thing about it because you only got one single melee swing. Could one swing, one melee swing attack four guys in the same time. Mm, I don't think so. Maybe three. If they're like really covered up and they're really close to each other trying to get body on. But those are rare occasions. Now this Zaku right here was able to literally slap some nice melee on me. I believe this is the Zaku FS I believe the one with the big ol' axe where it can have maneuver armor and double swings the lap mobile suit kicks ass and you know that's the difference between this mobile suit and that mobile suit you can tell differences between a lot of them now this one struggles a lot and the worst part is you know when you get surrounded you can't do anything about it you can't if I had a dodge roll, I could have survived you know, a few 
few more seconds right there. That could have saved, you know, that could have saved a game. In, spe in specific scenarios, it could have saved like three seconds, and you had total victory because it was, you know, points that were off. Now, this one right here is a game where, you know, I had a good match with it. It was alright. It wasn't, you know, amazing. It was like, oh man, that that was like freaking blast. I know you can get um first, second, third place, but it takes a lot of, you know, effort. It takes a lot of time to get used to this mobile suit. And that's what really struggles about this game. It takes a while for you to get used to. Now when you're in combat, you know, you gotta slap some nice some nice moves. You gotta slap some nice skills. You have to make moves to survive. Now that's the thing about this mobile suit. I don't want to make moves to to survive in this mobile suit. You know, I could have done that with a lot of these other type of mobile suits to have a lot more effort, a lot more kick, a lot more power to it. And you know, it, it's got a really nice stagger. You can literally go for a bazooka, go for a melee, and then you can go for the Panzerfaust. And you know, you do some some nice stuff right there. But, you know, a lot of that stuff is really rare, the rare occasions. Right there, I'm actually surprised I wasn't able to boost and get this man. And, you know, the turning rate of this mobile suit is pretty bad. Really bad. I couldn't turn enough to face the dude right onto my left side. And I didn't have enough boost. Not enough speed. So... Yeah. Very hard to handle. Um, really good thing about this mobile suit is that, you know, you can literally be the dude in, in a group of enemies. And if you can be the dude in a group of enemies, and if your team lacks some artillery support right in the middle, you can probably bring like three or four guys down with you if you're lucky or two people if you know they don't know what the hell is going on because a lot of the players are busy looking at the map and it's important to look at the map but you got to focus you don't want to fall asleep on the decoys I'm basically a decoy but with a like a really bad HP, <laughs> it would have been a really badass decoy if it had like 10,000 HP or 11,000 HP. But I know I'm asking a little bit too much in this mobile suit, but you know it kind of feels pretty damn. I don't know, lackluster. And to use this mobile suit, you you have to. Uh, you have to get get in there. If you literally stay back in the sidelines, you won't be able to do a single thing. Now, at this specific moment, you know, I I know for a fact I did a lot of mistakes in this mobile suit. But you know, it, a lot of those mistakes ain't my fault. It's majority of the time it just feels like it's this mobile suit's fault. Right here I knew there was dudes on the, the right of me and I kind of popped out. That was my bad. Like, uh, that was real stupid of me. <laughs> I thought a lot of those guys were like distracted on their their whole right side of the map. But you know, I was kind of off. But I was able to grab that guy's you know, hit. I was able to get that guy. Now, right here, you know, it would have been nice if I had a dodge roll. Like this guy right here was able to dodge roll, slam me with whatever he had, and finish me off. Which was really nice. Now I give props to that man with the GM command.
but man, boy oh boy, I just feel like I'm sitting in a chair full of goddamn needles when I'm using this mobile suit. And I try to go over here and try to save this Gigan. I think Gigan's really fun. Like, who doesn't love the Gigan? The Gigan is awesome. I need to do a video of that too. But yeah. Um, yeah, if I, if I had to rate this mobile suit, oof, I'd give it a 5 out of 10. Yeah, like a 5 out of 10 because it does some things. You know, it, it it can save team members. It can, you know, it can do some fights, but, you know, these fights don't last long. Now, right over here, I want to get right, right behind these guys, but a lot of our team members were kind of laid back, so I had to force myself to do this corner. I had to stay in this corner because this is all I could do. I ran out of I, I ran out, you know, seconds of resources right there. I ran out of it. I can't do anything. Now I can do something. And that's all I could do. I had to wait. <laughs> it gave my uh, allies a opportunity to, to attack them. Which was kind of a, I don't know. It was kind of sad. And since we have a team just full of uh, single shotters, like the Gigan, the the Camus, and the Zaku the Recon, there are just a lot of single shotters. So they had to kick back and stay back because they weren't able to do a lot of you know, things. And they our camel kind of knocked me down, which is understandable. And I was trying to go after this ad guy. Okay. Those guys, you don't want them to wander around. They can get behind you real quick. They can do some really slimy, medical tentacle stuff. Which a lot of people don't get ready for that. But yeah, this is basically how this this uh, mobile suit works. I was going my hardest. I was doing everything I could with this mobile suit. And right here, you know, I wanted to bait this uh, Agu guy to come in because I did not want to pop out because if I popped out, this man would have been able to grab me. And there was a dude behind me, which my ally left like my ass wide open the flank behind me wide open and that just basically led this whole engagement down the line but you know the match was over we couldn't do that much right there two camus were literally not enough it would have been better if there was only one camu but yeah this is my score it was pretty bad but it was alright now this is one of the worst matches I've ever had with this mobile suit ever. It was just it was just so ridiculously funny. Now this is the sniper, alright? And it was a sniper versus sniper. I was in a disadvantage and I don't know why I was fighting this guy and he was I was able to deflect a shot. The cool thing about this sniper is that it has a shield, a huge shield, that that can help you out. But you see what I said? The enemy can knock me out with two shots in the legs. And I'm down. Like, I am down, down. I couldn't do anything because I got surprise attacked by this dude. And I accidentally shot my own team member. Oh, how painful is that? And I'm just like, oh crap, man, that's not good. I'm dead. And my legs. I gotta, I gotta keep my mind wide open for that type of moments. But yeah, this, this Zaku Cannon Rabbit type 
amazing mobile suit amazing support amazing I highly recommend that thing um, that thing was able to knock me out and you know you'll you'll see how amazing this this rabbit type is you'll see in, I'm not sure in how many minutes or so but you know I just literally spawned in and I'm getting attacked by what I'm dead already <laughs> like I literally died so quick and this that Azaki cannon is on a killing spree killing spree and no one can do anything about this mobile suit it is literally capping on top of that building and I just literally spawn in and I'm the only one that can stop them I'm the only one a lot of these mobile suits don't have the range for it they don't have the weapons for it but I just keep on getting staggered to death and I'm dead already <laughs> Oh man, you're gonna need to endure the pain that I've endured with this mobile suit this match. Because this explains how bad this mobile suit can be in specific moments. I can give this a lower rating if I wanted to because of this match, but I've, I've had a lot of good matches with this thing. Well, not a lot, but they were basic. I was doing normal things. This is a normal mobile suit. Just bad quality. Right here, I was able to hit him, but now the act guy was after me. I was like, oh no. And I wasn't able to catch this melee. And I'm dead again. Great. <laughs> oh man. How the tides have turned. Now, there's this rabbit type on the top. And I want to get rid of him pronto. Pronto. But the problem is, is this trying to get to him is basically impossible. If I would have moved up, some some teammates would have went after me. And I was able to land a shot after him. And this time I was like, I'm going to kill this man. He's on a killing spree. And I couldn't do that much at all. And I was able to slip a shot and I only had 188 health right there. So, you know, how many kills does it take to kill a rabbit type with a camo? I guess three, four deaths, I'm guessing. <laughs> oh man. And the worst part is that this is not even over. I'm already in three minutes in this match. And, you know, I'm using the sniper rifle to its fullest potential. You know? And I'm going in here. I was like, I'm going to get this act guy. I am sick and tired of this guy right here. I was able to slap this shot. But I was meant to go for a heavy downswing. And it wasn't. My team member was able to snap a nice shot onto that, that guy. And I kind of boosted up here and I didn't want to get attacked by the, the rabbit type. And I got attacked by, I'm not sure what sort of mobile suit that is. I think that's the GM command type. And my legs are broken. Story of my life in this mobile suit. So, um, yeah. This, this, this is really hard. It's really hard. And I was getting shot on the side. He was able to get into a nice crevice. The Zaku Cannon. And the Zaku Cannon, you know, is going to go on the very top and camp. And at this point, I'm just like, I don't want to deal with this guy again, you know. <laughs> there he goes again. I'm just like, oh boy. This is just miserable. This match is just so bad. And, you know, I can't run away from the Zaku Cannon. It's got splash damage. It's got rockets. It's got a nice machine gun. You know, it's got the big old cannon on its shoulder. And 
you know, you, you can't top that. Yo, <laughs> oh man, and I slipped, my legs are broken, and he took me out. <laughs> I feel like a mad failure to the making. And um, this person in our team, Set, Setsuna, or wh whoever he is, I'm not sure if he knows me or this and that, but he just doesn't realize the pain that I was going through. And I am enduring it. I am not leaving this match. Once I start a match, I always go through the end. Now, right there, I basically grab a nice lucky random shot into a whole group of enemies right there. And I was able to, you know, get this man. I was actually surprised my, my shot just didn't hit him first. And I was able to get this rabbit type. And, you know, the thing is, is that I'm trying to keep away with the sniper rifle. Because I don't want to get too close. Because you know what happens when you get close to the sniper rifle. The sniper rifle is going to go right through the enemy. Now, um... thing is, you know, if I was using a Zuda, this would have been a whole different type of story. The Zuda is quality fun. It's amazing. Um, boy oh boy, I'm having a hard time with this thing. And I just wanted to slam an axe onto the ground because I, I was done. I was done. <laughs> I couldn't, I couldn't handle the pain anymore. Um, yeah. I known this person set for a while, and yeah, you probably saw my results. And see you all later, and take care.